Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Our brother in Islam, Kyrie Irving, is out here winning our hearts all over again. From raising awareness about the month of Ramadan to blessing me and the Zamzam boys with his own jersey after the game, Kyrie Irving is not done yet. Recently, Kyrie Irving took to Instagram to educate his followers on what's happening to his brothers and sisters in Palestine. And by the way, it's crazy how once someone accepts Islam, they automatically develop this fire and energy to defend and support Palestine. And a lot of people are not educated about what's happening in Palestine. So Kyrie Irving is using his platforms to spread awareness in whatever capacity he possibly can. And that right there deserves to be celebrated. However, the other day, Kyrie Irving shut things down in the media press conference after all he was getting questions were about the basketball game in which this is what he had to say you know gonna, i'm not gonna lie to you guys like, a lot of stuff is going on in this world and uh basketball is just not the most important thing to me right now you know, there's a lot of stuff going on overseas all my people are still in bondage it's sad to see this shit going on um and it's not just in palestine it's not just in israel discriminated against based on their religion color of their skin what they believe in it is just it's just sad Kyrie Irving selflessly shifts away the attention from himself and puts it on issues that matter the most on people that matter the most which are the Palestinians you know I apologize if I'm not gonna be focused on y'all questions you know it's just too much going on in the world for me just be talking about basketball I mean how can any one of us focus on anything else but what's happening to them in Palestine I feel it I'm very compassionate to all races, all cultures, you know, you know, we all say we're human beings and we care and we're compassionate, but, um, you know, what are you doing to help? And in this clip, Kyrie Irving is essentially narrating a prophetic hadith from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in which he's explaining to us how the Muslim body is one body. When one of our brothers or sisters hurts in this body, we all feel that pain. And the fact that he feels that pain and you and I feel that pain shows how united we truly are becoming. But some of you must be thinking the following. So what? Kyrie should be talking about Palestine. He should be supporting Palestine anyways. It doesn't matter. That's his job. He's a Muslim now. He should be supporting Palestine. Our brothers and sisters are dying over there. That's the least that you can do. I mean, what do you even have to lose, Kyrie? What's the big deal? Public figures such as Kyrie Irving have a lot to lose, particularly about $20 million a year in endorsement revenues just from saying one wrong thing, which makes Kyrie Irving a bigger legend just for the fact that he's not afraid to speak up and perhaps potentially even lose those massive endorsements. One might be wondering why are Muslims so excited that Kyrie Irving is speaking on behalf of the Palestinians? Well, that's because Kyrie Irving possesses the star power and superstar status that the likes of Muhammad Abdul Rauf did not possess, in which he did not stand up for the national anthem in America and they practically exiled him from the NBA. Kyrie Irving not only possesses so much clout that can potentially not get him canceled from the NBA, he's just so Allahumma about it good on that court that even if you hate what he has to say out of his mouth, you are just clapping it up and in awe of his entire game. So while some of your favorite celebrities or influencers are silent about the matter or indifferent about the matter or some are even on the wrong side of the matter, Kyrie Irving should be celebrated because he's unapologetically standing for the Palestinians and for Muslims, and that deserves our support. Through Kyrie Irving, so many of his younger fans are going to learn and become aware about the atrocities that Israel is performing against the Palestinians, and that right there is a huge win. Remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never test a person with more than what they can handle. And the brothers and sisters in Palestine are far stronger than you and I. Hence, Allah Azza wa Jal is testing them in a manner that you and I would never be able to be tested at. But perhaps our test, while we witness all this happening, is are we gonna use these events to help unite us as an ummah? Or are we going to allow our differences to separate us and divide us so that they can weaken our voices? The choice is up to us and the ball is in our court now. 
Let me know if there's a celebrity that has surprised you with their stance for or against Palestine, or perhaps a celebrity that deserves more credit than they are getting in the moment. And until next time, I'm out.